Welcome to Optimal Frequency. I'm Grant. I talk to spirits here at my house using sources of white noise. I then remove the sound of the white noise with an artificial intelligence called Crisp. That leaves behind the spirit voices. I can also use this, as I'm going to do today, to clean up some audio that was uh, a 911 call. If you watched the part one that I made a few days ago, uh, I'm listening to a 911 call from Shannon Gilbert from 2010. Uh, this was released to the public. I'm cleaning it up. I'm listening for some spirit messages, and I am also listening to see if there's any information we can pick out of there that wasn't uh, maybe known before we listen to it. No, it's not dandruff on my shirt. I was outside sawing something. I'm covered in sawdust. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to let you know, because as I was working on this, I said to Robin, hey, you should check out this video that I made a couple days ago, because she hasn't seen it. She didn't know I was working on it. And uh, check it out and let me know what you think about listening to this 911 call. Then she reminded me, this is crazy, I know, but we watched a movie... I don't know, a month, two months ago. I completely forgot watching it, but I didn't put it together. It was about this girl. This very girl. If you go to Netflix and you watch Lost Girls, is a story about Shannon Gilbert. And Robin had to explain it to me and say, remember that movie we watched about the girl? And then I'm like, well, I do vaguely remember watching something. She goes, yeah. She goes, it's that girl. So if you want to know more about her story, watch that movie. It was interesting. Well, it's 2.54 in the morning here. Can't sleep. Decided to work on this. I think I may have just heard a name. This goes back to my smoking days. <laughs> this caught my attention. So I'm having troubles with this, uh, the layered voices because of the woman that's the state trooper. She keeps grabbing her microphone. Now, I worked in a call center for many years, so I know how this works. Uh, but she keeps grabbing her microphone and turning and talking to the person beside her. And they're trying to decipher, you know, where's this girl? But they've just added a bunch of junk into the recording that makes it a lot harder to hear what's going on in the background. As if it wasn't hard enough to begin with. But I'm pretty sure I hear the one guy say he needs a light. He says a name. So this may be another name of someone who was actually there that night. And he says, the second guy says, I need a light. As if for his cigarette, right? It's what I make of this. Have a listen. Mike. Mike. Why? 
Okay, so I know in the beginning, or maybe it was the first part that I made, I said uh, you can hear Shannon on this 911 call and you can hear two guys kind of arguing throughout the whole conversation. Well, up to this point, I believe you can hear Shannon. I think there's at least three, well, I'll say I hear three male voices throughout so far up to this point. I'm pretty sure. The one guy has a thick accent. Maybe it's Mike does not have the accent. I'm not sure. Sorry, something just clicked in my head. Actually, one of the guys says, I think Mike's telling you lies. His accent wasn't thick. Anyways, I think I hear three distinct male voices. I hear Shannon. And then as we're rolling along here, I believe there's another woman there as well. And she comes in in this clip we're about to play. So what I want to show you now is that this crisp is not a perfect tool because sometimes it omits words that we can hear in the original because it's cleaning it up, right? So it's smoothing it out. Um, but here's an example of what I'm doing when I'm listening to the original track and then I listen to the filtered track, okay? By putting the two tracks together in my mind, so I listen to it once and I think I can make out a sentence, then I go down, listen to the filtered version, listen to it again. So the sentence has changed slightly because now, in this case, you'll see uh, it omitted a couple of words that I could hear in the first one, but then it also uncovered a section that I couldn't hear. So it's like a you got to mix and match the two together to try and figure out exactly what's being said. Again, I may be wrong on this, but this is just my best piecing it together you know, my best guess at this. So here's what I hear. Hi, please. Hi, please. Okay, so here we have something very interesting, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm hearing the same thing on the original audio and the filtered audio, okay? So she says... Uh, Something about Mike, uh, there's a pause. Now the guys have gone outside. It seems like Crisp is having a harder time of catching, uh, you know, the words that they're saying because they're so far away and their voices are really muffled. Unless they yell louder back to her, then I'm able to hear what they're saying on the uh, filtered version. Um, but again, I'm hearing the same thing on the original and the filtered, and it says something about you will die or people die. Something about dying, okay? Okay which you could dismiss and say, well, maybe you're not hearing that right or whatever, except something interesting happens after that. The dispatcher comes on in her muffled voice. She's still talking to her colleague. Now, I'm going to play this for you. I'm going to play the filtered version just because it's cleaned up and you can hear it better, and I don't want to play it twice. Um, you hear her talking, but then you hear Shannon say something in, in between that that's super interesting, and she was probably tipped off because she was there. She could hear them outside talking, Thus proving what we hear here, the two things about people die or you will die. I think Shannon heard that too, and then she makes a statement. I don't know what phone she's calling from, but I can't tell where she's coming from. Hi, please. 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 What happens? These people are plotting to kill me. Where are you? What's your address? What's your address? Oh, Mike, Mike, stop, Mike. Yeah. Mike, stop. Mike, stop, Mike. Mike, stop. Where are you? Mike, Mike, stop it. Mike, stop it. You guys are plotting something. Mike, where are you? Mike. I'm plotting the white. Are you in the house? Yeah. 
Right. Where in Long Island are you? I don't know. We're going to tell him. Are you in a house? Who is Mike? What's his last name? Mike what? What's his last name? What's his last name? What's his last name? What's his last name? Okay, guys, so I've spent a few more days working on this, uh, and even though I can't make out what she's saying for his last name, I've left in the original audio and the filtered audio. Maybe somebody will have an idea of what she's saying. Uh, after this, the call goes uh, into a different direction where at one point she's screaming. I think she escapes the house. She runs down the street. She bangs on a neighbor's house. Uh, I'm not sure why she doesn't wait for that person to answer. Um, eventually, they find her body, you know, months later in a swamp where uh, they said, at first they said she drowned, and then uh, they did another uh, autopsy, I guess, after the fact. A specialist did. He said that she had some uh, bruising around the neck or whatnot. She could have been uh, choked. So I don't know where it stands, but... Uh, in the next week or so, I hope to go to the sink and do an actual session where I try and contact her. So maybe all this work I've done to uh, try and clear up this audio will help somebody. I don't know. Again, you guys can do this too. So uh, if there's a part of the tape you want to hear, give it a shot. Maybe you'll figure something out that nobody else has heard. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Love, peace, joy, and adventure to you. We'll catch you in the next video.